Ben Queller is no stranger to South by Southwest. I really got my start here, like back in the late 90s with my band Radish. I'll never forget my first showcase uh, at South by Southwest. And so I've always had a, an affinity for South by. And since we're a local company, we wanted to do something with them. He started the record label, The Noise Company, 10 years ago. My whole mission is, is supporting developing artists and helping them sort of break through and, and figure out how to build a career in music. Queller was struck by tragedy last year when his 16-year-old son, Dorian, who went by Zev, passed away in a car crash. Everyone loved this guy, and his music really speaks to that. Last year's South by Showcase was supposed to be Dorian's debut performance. Queller used the showcase to pay tribute to him. When Dorian died, you know, there there was like a sort of a, an initial reaction to just crawl away into a dark hole and never come out, you know. But I also knew how much he loved music and... I just made the decision to just power through in his honor. The family has created a nonprofit called Zev United to support young musicians and skateboarders. Young musicians getting started, just really follow your soul, you know. I mean, music comes from just a different place, and um, from a lot of it comes from the subconscious. A skate park in Dripping Springs also recently broke ground, which will be named after Dorian. Last month, the first Zev Award for Young Musicians was given out. Queller says an album of Dorian's unreleased songs is expected to come out next year. That's an amazing thing about music is that it, it outlives us, you know, and so you're creating something that lasts forever. The showcase at South By is something Queller hopes will help other musicians grow. I, I hope they take away the fact that we've been working really hard to nurture some really special artists.